we all know we're supposed to drink water. But, and you know, when you're a, a vocalist or you're a speaker, you don't want to drink a gallon of water before you go and, and speak or That's sing. That's true, because it'll be a very short speech. <laughs> yeah, it will be a very short speech for yeah. more reasons than one. Yeah. But um, that one of the biggest reasons is you don't want to fill your belly full of water and then not be able to get good vocal breath, you know, the kind of breath you need to, to sing. It's just like eating. If you, if you eat too much and you put all that in your stomach right before you go sing or go speak, well, you've got, you know, you just can't get your breath and you can't get that proper, you know, support mm. that you really need for those things. So no, it's, um, it's almost like an athletic preparing for an athletic event yes absolutely like. and you know the the thing is to stay hydrated over time and do it properly um we you know the statistics are that you divide your body weight in half and you drink that that many ounces of water you know throughout mm -hmm. the day and and stay hydrated and if you do that on a daily basis you're going to be hydrated all the time so that's a great thing to do the other thing about water is water's great before you sing room temperature don't drink cold water because does it that do something one. to your throat yes or it does <laughs> you want to constrict your vocal cords drink something with ice in it that's not a good thing to do mm -hmm. make sure you drink just room temperature water is is great reverse osmosis preferably because um, reverse osmosis water is so much cleaner and better for you so those are just some things to do the so filtered water is that what you said? Filtered water, uh -huh. yeah. Filtered water mm -hmm. is great. Um, the other thing that that you can do is if you if you're feeling a little scratchy and you're feeling a little stressed out about um, your performance and you feel like you're getting all, you know, you just don't feel good about it and then you feel like you need to drink some hot tea. Don't drink it with caffeine in it. Yeah. <laughs> drink. <laughs> Yeah. Drink decaffeinated tea, okay? Because caffeine is a diuretic and it will dry your vocal cords out. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that because you want to get up there and start choking. You're not constantly having to wet your whistle, so to speak, by having a glass of water there and you're like, oh, excuse me. Is <laughs> tea know? and hot drinks in general good for your throat? I've heard of like tea with lemon would be good for a sore throat. It's like good, like of course. It, it mm -hmm. is good. You just don't want to drink caffeinated before you go sing. Now, mm -hmm. if you want to drink caffeinated tea, it's fun to drink caffeinated tea. I mean, tea is good for you. Mm -hmm. It's just not right before you go and sing, you know, you want to... You know, some of the most stressful things people can do is public speaking oh, or performing yes. in public. And those tips are just great to know. A drink absolutely. coffee, drink plenty of water. Right. Coffee is not your friend on a day that you're going to be speaking in public or, or singing in public. Drink it after you perform or after you speak. Um, that's just like you don't want to, you know, eat dairy before you go sing because it, it Makes causes. Makes you kind of phlegmy or whatever. Yeah, it yeah. causes, yeah, it does. Yeah. And, and that's not a good thing to do. Hey, afterwards, go for it, you know.